one time mogul Marion Suge Knight was sentenced to 28 years. That's right. You heard me correctly. 28 years today in the Los Angeles courtroom for manslaughter. Now, we know back in 2015, Suge Knight was caught on camera running over an individual. You know, now the co-founder of the influential Death Row Records pleaded no contest on September the 20th to one count of voluntary manslaughter for the hit and run of 55-year-old Terry Carter. Now, he admitted to using a deadly and dangerous weapon on January 29th, 2015 when he ran down two men with his pickup truck outside of Tam's Burgers following a heated argument on the set of a TV commercial for the Straight out of Compton film. Now, Carter later died at the hospital due to his injuries. The second man, Cleo Bone Sloan, was left badly mangled uh, left foot, and he didn't have... You know, head injury. Now, Knight, who was out on bail, you know, in a robbery case at the time, fled the scene and was later arrested. So the judge thought to probably, you know, you see the look on his face there. This is probably Suge Knight's, you know, um, probably the end of his life. Not to say that he couldn't live for another 28 years, but I mean, with him being, you know, in, in his 50s and, you know, the life expectancies of us. And the stress and stuff going to jail, I think this, you know, might be, you know, a, a, a somber end to the legacy of Marion Suge Knight. Not to say that it's over, you know, he can hopefully try to find some quality of life. But the judge, you know, pretty much, this is what you call throwing the book at Suge Knight. One time, death row boss, rap mogul, we all know about the history of Suge Knight. So, yeah, man, pretty sad here. Now, I know a lot of people are excited, are actually excited. A lot of people saying this is karma, you know, what is what it is. But I will say, you know, condolences to the uh, family of the brother who died and condolences to the person who was mangled, you know, after being ran over. We tend to forget about the victims, you know, in this case. So, yeah, the judge comes down hard on Marion Suge Knight, giving him 28 years for this manslaughter case. You heard it here on Hip Hop News Uncensored. Please go into the description box. We on Instagram, we on Facebook, and we on Twitter all of them is at Hip Hop Uncensored. Those links are right below me in the description box. I really do appreciate y'all. As always, do me two favors. Hit that like button and make sure that you share this video. Suge Knight will probably spend the rest of his life in prison. He was given a 28-year prison sentence today. There you have it. It's your boy Oga, Hip Hop News Uncensored. And I'm out of here. Peace.